Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Roxanne. And this is Chow Tour Oakland. Before street food became all trendy and fancy, it was just a regular way to get a good, inexpensive bite to eat. We heard Oakland had some great authentic spots, so we asked John Birdsall, a longtime resident and the editor of SF Foodie, to show us some of his favorites. My favorite neighborhood in Oakland is Fruitvale. It's a great mix of people from different parts of Mexico, and uh, I love coming here to eat. The first place we went was Piperin, a little food trailer near International Boulevard, where we ordered a torta ahogada. Which is a traditional sandwich of the Guadalajara area in Mexico. We got it with the barbacoa, a slow-cooked lamb. The meat was loaded into a crusty roll and the whole sandwich was dunked in a spicy chili sauce. Kind of like a Mexican French dip. The bread is all soaked with the braising juices and the chili sauce. Definitely something that you want to eat in the first, hopefully, five minutes that you've got it because it's... <laughs> It's going to disintegrate from the juices. The lamb was really flavorful, and the chili sauce gave it a good burn, but it won't melt your face off. So this is food where you definitely need to wash your hands after eating, and you definitely don't want to rub your eyes. Next, we went to the parking lot outside of Taqueria Durango, where Jesus Ramos has been grilling chicken for 17 years. I had the marinated chickens uh, 24 hours before the cooking. A lot of garlic mm -hmm. and uh, le uh, juices. Yeah, lemon juice, pineapple juice. He takes a whole chicken, cuts it into eight pieces, and serves it with a side of cactus salad, tortillas, and a few salsas. Okay, gracias. This is definitely a meal you eat with your hands. Just rip off some of the chicken, add any cactus salad or salsa that you want, and then go to town. Lots of toasted oregano, and lemon, and oil from the cactus salad. And the charred flavor of the red salsa was really good with the smoky chicken. And there's so much other great street food to try. With only one day to explore, we barely scratched the surface. In the next episode, we try a new take on the late night burger.